All right, guys, it's time for Step Parent 1. Battery's kind of dying, so we're going to have a little bit of fun with this and see where it goes. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel, usually with Step Parent stuff, I don't roll an intro and don't do a whole bunch of silliness. But I will get this out the way. If you guys like what you're about to see, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. It's going to show love and support for the channel, and I'm always appreciative of that. All right, I think I'm going to title this one Biological Warfare. <laughs> this video had to be shot, all right? Over that winter vacation, my house has literally smelled, at least on the downstairs part, like somebody took a big, healthy, just crap in the little closet that I have. We call it our Harry Potter closet because it's seriously the closet under the stairs. And that's like our main utility closet. What really got us was when we were going through Walmart trying to pick out Christmas ornaments, um, the Cuteness Factor's jacket literally smelled like someone rubbed dog crap all up and down it. We're like, what in the hell? I have spent the last two weeks literally carpet cleaning, Febrezing, doing everything else under the sun, trying to make it stop. We finally found out what it was yesterday. It wasn't crap. It was biological warfare created by the monkey. Bear with me, okay? My son is in the highly capable program at school. He's very brainiac, but he's also very flighty, and you got to keep him on point. If you keep him on task, he just does amazing things. So with their schools, if they don't finish certain food items, they can bring them home. So my son decided that Friday when they were getting released, because it's chocolate milk Friday, that he would bring home a chocolate milk for his sister, the brat. Now, for those of you who've been watching this channel for a while, you know those are the nicknames for my kids. Seriously, two of them chose their own. The cuteness factor, well, hers got born with other reviews that I've been doing. Somehow this kid forgot that he had chocolate milk in his backpack. And not just in the backpack, on one of his side pockets. So he takes his backpack, throws it in the hall closet, and forgets about it for two weeks. Exactly. That was the chemical warfare. That was the biological warfare. We're going insane, especially the day before shooting this video, okay? I'm playing Assassin's Creed Origins. The, you know, the cuteness factor is there with me. We're navigating through a tomb. She's helping me find snakes, and we call them nope ropes. And she's got her eyes peeled for them. We're all like, did you poop? Who farted? You know, we're like, what's going on? So we're airing out that hall closet, and he comes home from school. And he's holding his backpack inside two humongous rat trash bags. And I'm like, monkey, what's going on? And he's like, there was a rancid smell in my classroom. I'm like, okay, so it's not here. Because I'd spent a good part of a day yelling at my apartment manager going, did an animal die underneath our apartment? Did a frickin' pipe burst from the toilet? Can you get a maintenance guy over here? This is unbelievable. I can't stand the smell anymore. It was his backpack. And what got me was, for some reason, he couldn't smell it. I'm like, how did you not know this was on your back? And everybody who's a parent knows exactly what's going to come next. I don't know. I have to explain these things to my VA doctor on why I have high blood pressure and hypertension as I'm sitting there having a mini aneurysm as my son looks at me with those loving doe eyes going, I don't know. So we had to spend a night scrubbing out his backpack, literally again, scrubbing a freaking carpet inside the Harry Potter closet, throwing in Febreze Brahms, you know, shutting the door. If you guys don't know what it is, get the little spray thing of Febreze, not the pump, but the spray. Wrap a zip tie around, pull tight, throw, and close the door. Yeah. I had to make this video to give some laughter. Because lately our Step Parent series, well, my Step Parent series, has been really heavy and really over the top and really just, eh. And something like this happens, you got to share it. You have to share just the insanity. And what made everything worse is generally how this goes when my kids are in trouble. There's a lot of yelling, a lot of screaming, a lot of angry yelling, a lot of angry screaming. Kids crying, kids go to their room and cry it out. 
half hour, 45 minutes later, you sit, you talk, you know, hey, you know, this was bad, this was wrong, this was here, this was there. And we have a good dialogue and we try to get points across. Well, my son approaches me after a half hour and goes, hey, dad, you know that punishment you just gave me? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, well, I agree with that 100%. And yours I'm number two. My son is agreeing with his punishment. I'm like, you don't get to agree with punishments. This is how this works. I am the adult. You are the child. I punish you. You take the punishment and you write about it in your freaking teenage memoirs about, you know, how I'm going to be a serial killer later in life because daddy didn't give me Pokemon. Not that that happens. That's just something I just came up with right there, okay? So my son brings home biological warfare, approves of his punishment, and the worst part, because I told him, look, you cause all this crap. You cause mommy to unnecessarily yell at me. You cause Brianna's coat to do this. You cause this, you cause this, you cause this. Here's your punishment for the night. You're in your bed for the night. All you can do is read books. I like him reading. It gets his brain engaged. It gets stuff going. And it wasn't like a 12-hour punishment. It was like a two-hour punishment. By the time everything got done with dinner and taking care of everything, get ready for the next day. So I peek my head in his room because I hear him talking. I'm like, what the hell, boy? And I see all his stuffed animals lined up. He's sitting on the floor reading a book to his stuffed animals. And when I went, what the hell, boy? He looked at his stuffed animals and went, BRB. I'm like, stroke number three. <laughs> what? So, yeah, that's the fun in my house recently. I wanted to share that with you guys because I lived through it. And I still can't believe I lived through it. And no, I'm not making any of it up for any comedic value. I just sit and I go, why can't my VA doc see this crap so I don't have to have three hours appointments with them and going, do you need to see a psychiatrist because you have hypertension? We need to get your blood pressure down. And, you know, you're really too just, I'm like, this goes on every day in my house. If it's not the monkey, it's the brat. If it's not the brat, it's the cuteness factor. Ah! But we'll roll it like this, okay, guys? I can't wait to see your comments on this one. And, man, if you guys want to, because you know I do this in, like, the Step Parent series, you know, do the like, share, subscribe, you know, look for videos, look for notifications, look for all that fun stuff. I just, after talking about it again, I just want to go someplace and giggle for a half an hour. And it's one of those that, I swear to God, I just want to go in, like, a parents-only bar and sit and go, I got stories. Let's play. Ugh. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I know it was a weird one, and thanks for watching it through.